He was trying to be sneaky with it. Ooh. Got him. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. I think this is a brook trout. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Last Cast Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing some early ice fishing up here in the Uinta Mountains. I'm going to be ice fishing with my dad for safety reasons, but we went to a couple of lakes and poked around. We found a couple that were safe and a lot that weren't. So we're here at the first lake, which is Butterfly Lake. And me and my dad are going to be ice fishing here for two days. So this video will be both of day one and day two of fishing. So after poking around for a little bit at this lake, we drilled a hole. We measured it barely three inches. So still very, very risky. We're only having one person on the ice at a time for safety reasons. Both me and my dad, we are wearing our ice fishing suits. So our ice fishing jackets and bibs, which both have flotation built into them. We also have our ice picks just in case. And then we actually have another person on land just in case something happens. And make sure to stay at the end of the video because after we're done ice fishing here, I will give an ice fishing report for pretty much all of the lakes here up in the Uintas. If you want to come up here, I'll let you know if it's safe or not and how thick the ice is. Ooh, looks like we got a mark. Got a mark at four. That's definitely a mark. Oh, he hit it. He's playing with it. There we go. First fish of the day. Whoa, popped out right off the ice. It's a tiger trout. That's awesome. Let's go. First fish of the day through the ice. Nice little tiger trout. There we go. That's awesome. First fish. Oh, there's a mark. There's two marks, I think. Whoa, he's biting it. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that one's a pretty tiger. All right, guys, another beautiful wild tiger trout. Very dark colors. Has like a brown belly. That is so cool. Look at that. Let's let him go. There's a mark. Come on, you take it. Take it. He's still there? I can see my jig. He's there. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he popped off. Let's go back down. There he is again. He was trying to be sneaky with it. Ooh, another beautiful tiger. All right, guys, another beautiful wild tiger trout. Look at that pattern. It has a really beautiful brown belly. Wow, that might, that might be the prettiest one of the day for sure. Look at that, wow. Beautiful tiger. Let's put him back in the water. Oh, there's a mark, there's a mark. He just came out of nowhere. What do we got? What is that? All right, guys, a super skinny rainbow trout. Look at that. He has a birth defect on his jaw. 
poor little guy. I put the worm in his mouth so he can have that little snack with him. Let's put him back in the water. I think that's a mark. Yep, that's a mark at four. Oh, that was a soft bite. Another tiger trout. All right, guys, another wild tiger trout. Pretty guy. Let's let him go. I can see him. I can see him. That is so cool. We're at what? Three and a half feet? Yeah, he's still circling it. There he is. He's back. <laughs> they are being so finicky with it. So finicky. Got it? Yeah, he did. See, such a soft bite. Pops right out. I don't think I even hooked him. I think he... Hey, come back here. All right, just a little tiger trout. Beautiful pattern on him. He is ready to go. Wrong way. Go down. See you, buddy. Oh, there's a mark. He hit it, too. Oh, there he is. Oh, my gosh. I think this is a brook trout. Look how tiny this thing is. Holy crap. Guys, check that out. It's just a baby brook trout. Look how tiny he is. That is so cool. This is probably my PB smallest brook trout I've ever caught. Let's, let's let him go. That is crazy. He is so small. Wow. Very pretty though. Very pretty colors. Come on, buddy. No, don't jump back out. <laughs> there he goes. All right, guys, I put on a little golden spoon tipped with a worm. Drop it down and see what we can do here. Ooh, we got a mark. There he goes. This one feels bigger. There we go. All right, guys, another beautiful tiger trout. Pretty pattern on this guy. Nice fins. Let's put him back in the water. See you, buddy. Oop, there's a mark. There he goes. Been up a good fight here. Another tiger. All right, guys, another beautiful tiger trout. Nice little pattern on him. Let's let him go. Oh, we got a mark at four. There he is. Drop it back down. He's playing with it. Ooh. Man, he is really delicate with that bite. There he is. First fish. There we go. All right, another beautiful tiger trout. Look at that pattern on him. That is absolutely gorgeous. Hit. There we go, nice tiger trout. All right guys, we caught a beautiful wild tiger trout. Those fins on him are beautiful. Wow, that's a beautiful tiger trout. Let's let him go. Oh, that was a good hit. 
think he might have took my worm. Nope, still got it. Guys, he's right at the hole. There's two of them. There's two of them. Guys, guys. They're literally... He's right there. Come on. Oh, dude. He's right at the hole. There he is. <laughs> right at the hole. It's a brookie. Alright, guys. We caught a nice wild brook trout. Pretty little guy. Let's let him go. All right, guys, me and my dad, we are all done for today. We had an amazing two days up here doing some ice fishing. All right, so at the end of the video, I was gonna talk about the ice fishing reports. Me and my dad went to all of the most accessible lakes that you can get to. We didn't go to any weird spots. We just went to the most common places you would probably go to ice fish. So I have my list right here. Today's date is November 14th. So the first lake is Trial Lake. This is the first lake you will hit. Uh, it is half frozen, half open. The ice is about inch to an inch and a half thick. So definitely not safe for sure. Teapot Lake, it is two and a half inches thick, which is not safe, but the ice is very clear. Lost Lake, which is two and a half inches, very clear ice not safe and it is very cracky lily lake has four inches of ice which is pretty amazing but it has a lot of veins which could be a weak spot for ice and it is foggy ice as well it is not clear but there is four inches which is pretty impressive mirror lake is not safe did not want to go on that lake moose horn is three inches uh, anywhere where there was clear ice, it was three inches pretty much anywhere I drilled. Pass Lake, that is not safe. The ice conditions are really bad, um, so I would not go there. Next is Butterfly Lake, which is where me and my dad went. You're looking at barely three inches, uh, but the ice, some parts of the ice is clear, and that's where we ice fished. We went right by the bank, probably 15, 20 feet away from bank and it was about three inches. Definitely give it a week or two, and most of these lakes should be pretty nice. Make sure if you guys do come up here, take your safety precautions. Make sure you have at least your ice picks and a fishing buddy with you just to be safe. I do recommend bibs and jacket that have flotation built into them, but that's the ice fishing report for the Uinta Mountains. Be safe out there, bring a buddy, make sure you have ice picks, all of that good stuff but it is a lot of fun up here, that's for sure. But if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. See ya.